Whoa! Snakes alive. Um, upset the Philadelphia Phillies who look like the 27 Yankees. The um, first seven or eight games of the postseason where they only tra trailed in seven innings. And the answer backs flipped that script um, on its head. And uh, wow, that's what you want in postseason baseball. The unexpected. And yeah, they're the last wild card team and the blah, blah, blah. The playoff format and all that stuff. I'm frustrated that my team didn't do well or whatever. But you got to tip your cap to the, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Down 2-0, get shut out 10 to nothing in the in the second game, and looked looked overmatched. And then Brandon Font came in and said, I "Put he put his team on his back as a rookie and just said, guys, I'm gonna get us back in this series, and then you guys take it from there." And Cattell Marte, Corbin Carroll, Gabby Moreno, uh. Pordomo, um, so many, Tommy Pham, um, they all had a reason that the Diamondbacks are here. Evan Longoria for his defensive heroics against the Brewers, because I don't think they're sitting here and celebrating unless Longo did that in the wild card series. It's just really all of it. And I mean, they're basically the same. Uh, they're the NL version of the Texas Rangers two years ago. They lost uh, 110. They were streaky as all get out. Uh, they lost nine in a row coming out of the All-Star break and looked dead in the water. And then it um, clutched up big time in September. Stole a playoff spot from the, the Cubs pretty much. And just rode that wave. Kevin Ginkle, um, Ryan Thompson, Paul Seawold, the three-headed monster. Uh, Kevin Ginkle with his Tyler Matzik moment in the seventh after Saul Frank walked Christian Pache. And Kyle Schwarber with one out got Turner to fly out. It wasn't the greatest of sliders, but got Turner out in front trying to do too much, and then Harper missed one big time. It was a hanger, and he just missed it. I'm pretty sure if that was a Braves uniform, that's in the trees. Um, but luckily for Ginkle, it wasn't, and then he got locked in um, big time, just absolutely obliterated Stott, Ria Muto, and uh, Castellanos. Um, and Kyle Schwarber, Trey Turner, and Bryce Harper – one for 20 in game six and game seven. So you just got to tip your cap because the Phillies look like the 27 Yankees um, for the first half of the playoffs. And uh, they said, forget that. And I just, it's incredible. It's so awesome to see new blood in the World Series and how they did it. Um, an incredible Stunning fashion, but I think that walk-off um, gave them extra juice. And obviously, you can question a lot of things from Rob Thompson but the in Game 3 and beyond. But the one thing I really, really question is why ever putting Craig Campbell in any other inning uh, than the ninth? Yes, he's a heart attack in the ninth, but uh, statistically a 2 ERA in the... Um, in the ninth and a five plus ERA in the in the in any other inning and got burned on the pinch hit two run uh, blast by Alec Thomas uh, to flip that script, especially with Wheeler going the next day. I think you could have and maybe not using Orion Kirkring um, using that secret weapon so much, even though he had been dominant and amazing. He got slider happy, and that kind of that pattern kind of burned him as well. Um, maybe you could have used like a Lorenzen or something in that. Um, obviously, Rob Thompson knows his team better than I do, but 
just watching that the series play out it just kind of felt that way and obviously it doesn't it didn't help when Kimbrel's confidence was like pretty shot from giving up the walk off and then the next game giving up the game tying homer when you're up five to two in the seven um and then because you felt really really good about that and then you tried to stay away from Alvarado and I don't think you could stay away from Alvarado and he ended up giving up the game game winning hit to Gabby Moreno I just you question that a little bit because it's because the Phillies were so dominant and Zach Wheeler was so dominant uh but the the snakes just came and poisoned the Phillies at the right times every time answered back everything and to stymie this red hot offense I didn't think that was possible this postseason but the the guys that don't have household names are quickly becoming them and I'm a really really big fan of Toro Lavolo and that whole organization for for what they did and to be able to get Paul Seawald to be that anchor in the bullpen and all of that stuff. Uh, the, the minor moves are looking really, really huge right now. And Gabby Moreno and Lourdes Gurriel for um, Dalton Varsho. Nothing against Dalton Varsho, great player. But I think that might go down as one of the more lopsided trades in terms of production and results um, for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Just absolutely epic. And Gabby Moreno pretty much silenced. Um, a Phillies running game that was uh, very, very frisky early on in the postseason. So don't discount that either. Really, really happy for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Their radio announcer, who is, um, this is the last year for him to be able to call a World Series. That's kind of poetic in his last year, so that's awesome. And they continue to live up to their name answer backs two comebacks and that's the one thing about the Phillies this year they didn't do a lot of comebacks and they didn't do a lot of um a lot of um comebacks and and feeling like they're gonna come back um and when their bottom of the order gets cold like they did you just you there's a lot of pressure on the top of the order and the Diamondbacks um put the ultimate pressure on them and they could not could not get the big hit and um funny how the tables are turned when you just can't get the big hit but absolutely incredible for the Diamondbacks super happy it's gonna be interesting if they can stifle the Red Heart Texas Rangers offense um but if anyone can do it this postseason proved um that the underdogs are ready for a fight and it's going to be it's going to be really fun uh and having like i said new blood in the world series is is just uh, amazing and and i hope it's going to be great ba great baseball walk-offs intense moments all of that stuff but go baseball thank god the phillies learned in the world series and as always go brave champions forever